Look how well they look. Oh, they've risen lovely, nice and thick. Oh, can't wait to eat them. These are my super easy homemade vegan sausage rolls. So these are the main ingredients we're going to be using. These are the Plant Pioneers Cumberland Shroom Dogs. And uh, this is just ready rolled, ready to go puff pastry from Sainsbury's. It's just a pound for a sheet. And you'll get six really good sized sausage rolls out of this recipe. So we're going to put these to one side. We're going to take the puff pastry out of the packet and we're just going to leave it to stand. Let's take it out of the, uh, the cellophane. We're just going to pop that there for a second while we, plant, uh, while we uh, prepare our shrimp dogs. So you just open these, grab a pair of scissors and we're just going to take the skins off of the, uh, the sausages. You don't have to use these sausages, of course. Um, use the variety or brand uh, that you're most happy with. And we're just going to take those out like that. Just lay them on there for now. And in a second, I'll show you just what we're going to do. So I'll, I'll be back when I've done that with the rest of those. So I've decided for this demonstration we're just going to do three. I don't really want uh, six sausage rolls ready to go today so I'm just using a serrated knife to cut through our ready roll pastry. I'll pop the other one back into the box in the fridge and that just leaves us this one. Now the reason we got it out early uh, was for it to come up to room temperature a little bit. It doesn't really need to fully reach room temperature and this could have done with a little bit longer. You'll just notice that we're getting a little bit of uh, cracking in the pastry because it wasn't quite warm enough on the inside but that will be fine. So this there isn't an easier way to make sausage rolls i promise if there is an easier way that you know that i don't know about please put a comment down below because i'd love to know right so we're just gonna cut this into three equal ish slices and here's the sausages out of their skin So we simply place the sausage roll on the puff pastry, uh, sorry the sausage, not the sausage roll, it's not a sausage roll yet. So there we go, we just place them on top of the pastry. So we're just going to take a little bit of plant based milk, any milk that you've got available will be fine and we're just going to paste one of the edges. Right, so, pop this over to one side, and then you can do it, I'm going to show you both ways, you can do it like this, which is the more traditional way to do a sausage roll, or, let's do this one, at the end, I'm covering that with my arm, and you can tuck that in, and roll. Now I I don't really have a preference um, I'm just showing you both methods so that you can decide for yourselves. Let's, so let's do this one let's do a couple so that they are styled more traditionally. Now I'm just gonna move that one up the paper a little bit so that we just have a little bit of separation between them so just push these edges down a little bit this one obviously is absolutely fine as it is just take your knife and do some little cuts just to go through the pastry we're not cutting into the sausage roll that's a little bit too many
that's better and same again with this one although this is slightly different to the others in terms of aesthetic we're going to do it exactly the same so now now we've got them to this stage take your milk brush them over the top again making sure you coat all of it this is just going to give you very similar to what would have been an egg glaze on a more traditional you know uh, dead animal product so that's, great. that's that last but not least we're just gonna add a little bit of the uh, seasoning so just a little bit this is my lovely pink sea salt so just a little bit of salt on there some people might say that was a lot and a little bit again just a sprinkle this is ground black pepper now one of the things that you won't find on uh, like an off-the-shelf sausage roll unless it's one of these sort of uh, cottage industry versions I'm trying to think of one of the names of companies because because uh, I don't eat um, a lot of shop bought stuff I can't think of the name of it but you won't find them spiced up like this and it, it will surprise you if you do these uh, that this little coating of salt and pepper will make the world of difference in enhancing the flavour of this really simple this is almost a how to cheat at making sausage rolls so I'm just going to place these onto uh, my air fryer uh, grill plate I'm trying to do this without making too much of a mess there's plenty of room for three three of these on here That'll be that'll be fine because the air circulates inside the air fryer. That'll be fine. In fact, actually, I'm going to move. That is going to be quite close to the edge. That one. Let's just move that in a little bit. So we're just going to pop them in the air fryer now until they've puffed up nice and crispy. Oven times may vary and temperatures. I put them in at 190 degrees for about 25 minutes right while those are in the oven i'm just going to give you a variation um, on this little simple simple recipe or a meal suggestion i i i dread to call it a recipe because uh, it's not really a recipe is it let's uh, let's be honest i'm taking somebody else's pastry and somebody else's sausages and uh, just putting them together so we're just closing these up uh, I'm gonna do it slightly different to the first slot there I didn't crimp the edges on the other uh, sausage rolls it doesn't really need it but I suppose if you're going for that sort of genuine standard looking sausage roll then then this is what you do so you just take a fork and you just crimp the edges like this really simple doesn't doesn't have to be fancy looking or uh, you know there's no sort of special technique to it again we're just going to brush it over with a plant milk just to give a bit of the glaze and to adhere uh, 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 pepper and salt too so that's those I did forget if you noticed well done I did forget to do the tops uh, before the glaze but it doesn't really matter let's see if I can get a bit of a more slightly uniform slots on so all this just allows uh, the pastry to grow uh, and to let steam out and stuff like that while it's in the oven right so 
we've got our salt and pepper over here. We're just going to sprinkle a little bit of salt on again. Like so. And a little bit of pepper. Some people would say that's quite a lot of pepper. I do like my food spicy. If you've been following the channel, for a while now one last ingredient I've just got to go to my pantry and I'll be back so this is garlic granules garlic powder whatever you got so this trust me <laughs> trust me when I say this will just knock these into next week it'll be something a little bit different I mean everybody has a you know pretty standard sausage roll uh, from time to time uh, but this being vegan and having that garlic on there is just going to taste amazing I can see the other sausage rolls are always ready to come out I'll get these in as well and then I'll come back when both versions are done so these have just come out of the oven let's pop them on there there you go look at them right because I'm using this uh, this mesh Ideally, these would be on a uh, uh, an oven tray, um, but I don't have an oven tray that fits my air fryer, so I use this. And sometimes the pastry just bites into the into the the tray. There, look, they're so light. These have literally just come out. So I'm just going to stand. I'm going to stand these to one side, the smell in here is in, I wish we had smelly vision. So I'm just going to pop these to one side and wait for the others to come out and then I'll show you them all together. Wow, look at the way these have come out guys. I've uh, I left these in a little bit longer, they, these were in for about, uh, for about 20 minutes. So I just felt like the other ones could have just done with a little bit more colour. Um, but of course, you do you. Um, whatever you feel is an appropriate amount of colour should have kept that other knife in so I'm just separating the pastry that one's free by the look of it this one's not going to be I hope we haven't lost the that complete layer I think we did my bad right so usually we'd let these settle for a little while uh, on the airing uh, uh, tray whatever you want to call it um, but we're going to get these off because I just want to show you one of these. We're going to cut one open. Let's pop these. Oh, look. We did. We sliced the whole bottom off of, uh, of, one, of the, <laughs> one of the sausage rolls. Oh, I will, guys. Um, these things happen. I'm not, not pretending. Uh, I'm not going to pretend to you guys that everything I do in the kitchen goes perfectly because that would I just wouldn't be honest um, there we go we've got the bottom once that's cooled down that'll be absolutely fine we'll transfer one onto the uh, onto the table and um, if you're going to cut one of these just make sure you use uh, a serrated a nice sharp serrated edge knife look at that absolutely lovely and let's let's cut one of those that we we did about 20 minutes ago and there you go absolutely beautiful so i'm going to try both i i might let this one cool down a little bit mm. oh oh so good um there's actually someone in the studio with me. Um, I'm just going to hand one off camera and see if we can get a uh, an objective review from the sidelines. What do you think, Lois? Good. Good. Right now, what about what about the garlic one? Just blow on it before you bite on it. Um, <laughs> that's what she said. Just blowing it, don't let the sausage fall out. That's also what she said. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna cut a bit and try. This is the garlic one. 
So this is the one with the garlic granules on it. Look how light and fluffy they are guys. Sorry, it's hot. Mm. Wow. Yeah. Um, both of these, absolutely both of these are banging. Lisa's just said she prefers this one with the uh, garlic granules on it. So if you're going to make these, maybe give it a go. Or maybe just try the salt and pepper ones. Let's just bring it up. We'll do a nice juicy close up. I'm going to have to touch the camera because I can't afford a camera with decent autofocus. Uh, so if you want to help us be able to afford a camera with decent autofocus, please like, share and subscribe. These are my super easy homemade vegan sausage rolls. Oh look, looks a bit like a face. <laughs> looks a bit like a face, Luce. <laughs> Oh my, oh my, I've just had a big just had a big